morning guys so on a healthy journey with my friend and we take our morning walks it is getting cold out here so this is why I am all bundled up but upon our trail we had a conversation about decorating Christmas urns and they're quite expensive in a store so here out in the wilderness I'm going to search for things that I can DIY a Christmas urn to gift to my friend. So these are the things that I'm looking for that has fallen to the ground so that I don't interrupt the wilderness. So anything that's on the ground I'll be picking up to make the Christmas urn. that I will be using well some of the things that I'll be using to make the Christmas urn Woodpecker. And then one came on my head again. There's one on her head. Okay, guys, so this is what I came up with. We have some tree branches. We have these little thingamajigs. I really don't know what these things are called. Some greenery. And we have some pine cone. And we have a vase. So I'm just gonna attempt to put this thing together. Wish me luck, guys. This was literally just a plant pot that I had outside and I saved the dirt and obviously for good reason. So for the base of it, I really want it to look rustic, but I couldn't find any white pieces of wood that fell to the ground. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to spray these with a beige-ish kind of um, spray paint and um, stick it inside. Okay guys, so this is the beige spray that I had and it's really not coming out. I don't know why. 
I tried changing the little tip and it's still not working. Like it's coming out, but it's coming out too splatty. So I'm going to use like a coppery color and just spray the part of the wood that's going to be exposed. I'm not gonna spray the bottom of it because it's just gonna be a waste of time and spray. We want this to look like it came out of the store, not from the woods. <laughs> And I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do now is just very carefully stick it inside of our dirt. Actually, I want it in the middle. Once I add water to this pot, well, once my friend adds water to her pot, because I don't want it to be too heavy for her to bring it home, everything will set more uh, nicely. So what I'm going to do now is add my extra little branches in there. I'm going to spray them and add them. Okay. So this one, I'm not gonna spray because I do want the little element of red in there. So I'm not gonna spray it, but I think I need to take off one of these little things. And guys, don't worry, these were all on the floor, picked up, we didn't harm nature. these which is adding another red type of rustic look to it I'm not gonna spray these either I'm just gonna be sticking them in and as I go along I will see where I need to tweak and adjust and move things around now I have these twigs that I also picked up but I think I want these gold little things which I feel like I want to keep them white now what do you think yes white okay. I think it's a beautiful way okay so we'll add these in actually spray these gold. Basically just using everything else as a filler. We want some low, some high, some not so high, some hanging. It's not supposed to look perfect, in my opinion anyway. That's so pretty. I'm just tweaking where the position of where they are. Yeah. I think it's so pretty. Like, I don't think you could make a mistake with this. No, because it's not supposed to really look perfect, but no. you want it to look 
symmetrical. Unison, yes. Yeah. If that's the right terminology. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Like yes. Yeah. Christmas is here. <laughs> As the choir sings. <laughs> I said no, it's the jukies. It's the jukies. We don't want the jukies. That's the one I love. That is the actual one that I picked too. Yes. I just went inside to get some little Christmas ornaments just to stick on the branches randomly anywhere kind of sort of When in doubt, you compromise. Couldn't find a. <laughs> and now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gold and the copper spray, and I'm just gonna go over and kind of, hmm, how do you put this? Zhuzh. Lightly spray the greenery so that it has a little bit of a gold reflect. So it's still green. But nobody cannot tell you you didn't buy this somewhere, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna take this, um, uh, I wanna say it's like burlap, found it in the dollar store. And I'm going to attempt to zhuzh it up just a little bit more. Going to figure out where we're going to put it. So guys, this is what I decided to do with the little burlap piece. Wrap it around the vase. And this literally found on the side of the road. And we made somebody's piece of garbage into our gold. Tied it and made a bow. So guys, this is our Christmas urn that we came up with. This bow, the burlap, is the most expensive thing. The only thing that we spent money on. Two dollars and what? Two dollars and fifty cents. 
everything else was picked on our healthy walks. So pretty!